Scorpio, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jen Dawson, and welcome to Jen TV. All right, we've already dealt the cards out in the uh, speed love check-in, so let's get down to it. Bear in mind, my loves these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. You can also purchase individual ones via my website, gentvtarot.com, or if you join my channel. Each has its own perks, but the best price would probably be from Patreon. So the overall vibe, let's get back to that. So we've got the Knight of Swords in reverse, crossed by the Two of Swords. It does sort of seem like somebody's in action, somebody's not caring about the consequences of their inaction as well. Is, eh, what do I do about this? How do I, how do I treat this? How do I deal with this? So you kind of start to think, well, I'm going to put my, I'm setting my boundaries. This is, this is not how I operate. What else do you need to know right now? You're willing to fight for what you believe in in love. And this isn't working out for you. And, you know, were you to say to this person, I want this, this and this in a relationship. Where do I stand with you? What's going on? What page are we on? They're like, oh, you no, know, you're too needy. You're like, well, no, that's just general questions so that you, you know, know what page you're on with somebody and, and that's normal. So you're setting your boundaries. You're ready for love. You're ready for the realness. And if somebody's being aloof with you, you're willing to fight for what you want. So you're, you're willing to set your boundaries and walk away from this. It's been a little bit confusing. Maybe they've given a little bit. Just enough to make you waver a little bit. What you don't know, though, is that what's coming in the future is this. Somebody who's totally on the same page as you, totally emotionally available. That doesn't sort of make leaving this behind seem so bad, does it? Take a look what's coming up in the near future. Part of you sort of thinks, do I deserve love? And maybe this is why you're now setting your boundaries, because that's why you're questioning it. Because there's that sort of saying of like the, the common denominator in all of this is me. So if you sort of feel like you haven't ever been loved, that maybe perhaps it's because you're not lovable. Maybe, you know, you haven't settled down into a more serious relationship because there's something about you that's not good enough to have a serious relationship. That's all crap. And now you're setting your boundaries because you know it. You know that it's crap. So you're willing to fight for what you really want, which is... Perhaps an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, perhaps a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Someone who's like ready to settle down and take you seriously. Somebody who wants to know you, not just know your body. Somebody who's interested in you and your interests. What you have to say, your opinions. Somebody who likes you, somebody who wants to spend time with you. That's what you're ready for. The best you can hope for. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is a good card. Tens are about completion of cycles. So you have completed 
Now, that cycle of unhappy, unsatisfying love connections. You're, you're wanting what's behind those flags and you can have that. And those flags will be blocking off any negative energies coming towards you because this is your real shit. This is your real relationship. I, I didn't say anything rude there. Your real shit, re like, you know, short for relationship. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I said. That's what I was saying, right? Yeah. You. Hmm. Do I deserve this? Yes. Yes, you do. What you need to do, though, because this is coming in the near future, is start planning ahead. This is maybe that you haven't been planning ahead. The universe can't give you what you want if it doesn't know what you want. So what do you want? Let's start making a list. What are you looking for in a relationship? Where do you want to be in a year's time? What, uh, how do they treat you? How do they speak to you? What do they look like? What do they do for a living? You know, all of these things. What are their interests? The ones that they share with you, the ones that they don't just kind of like make this person real. Make this person a real person. I think who's coming in is going to be pretty balanced, but also, excuse the hurty finger, pretty balanced, but also, I, they've been hurt in the past and they're not willing to stand for any crap. Which is good, because neither are you, right? I'm going to read the outcome here, and then I'm going to take it into Extended, where I'm going to ask about this person that's coming in. What sign are they? When are they coming in? We'll ask around the sign as well, sort of like, um, what kind of person are they, what, what are their interests, that sort of thing. When are they coming in? And um, let's get a little bit of guidance from the universe. But, you know, I kind of want to know when. How about you? But anyway, let's read this now. Why is the emperor here for the outcome? That's what's coming in, your emperor. Stability, security. Someone who knows who they are and where they're at. Someone who gives as well as takes. Six of Cups. Just saying. Just saying. That being there. I mean, it's a good card. It's a nice card. There's just one little thing that bothers me a little bit is that it's a reunion card. So is this somebody coming back in? I'm gonna ask about that in the extended as well. Is this somebody coming back in? Let's play some Oracle cards. Oh, yeah! Prosperity lies ahead. Thank you. And your love lyric melody. I don't want to be there when you decide to break it. Love by another Def Leppard tune. Uh, cancer got a Def Leppard tune as well. This is uh, Love Bites by Def Leppard. Alright, I'm going to take this into extended. Thank you for joining me. See you later.